Hey everybody, it's Gerald the Urban Alchemist here. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful week. It's Tuesday. Um, I'm getting ready with all my tasks for the day. I have lots of loose ends to tie up. I did my taxes yesterday, so that's exciting. Um, I just want to talk to you briefly about meditation, the big M word. Y'all, we all know that meditation is something that would benefit us. It's something that we need to do. But we all secretly kind of dread it, right? Well, I've learned that, you know, we know that we must do it to be spiritually aware, to be grounded, to like have a nice broad perspective, you know, a bird's eye view of our life versus being in the minutia like we always do. It's really great for your like mental health. It's great for you spiritually. But it's like... At times, it can seem like just another task to um, check off the list during the day. You know, it's another burden, another thing to keep up with. Um, But I must say, I've been meditating lately, and it's something I sort of fell away from for a really long time. When I started my spiritual journey, I actually embraced meditation. And it was the same attitude then. It was like, ugh, just seemed like a burden. It seemed like work. And I've heard of all the benefits But it seemed like everybody said, don't expect those benefits to come right away. So um, I was like, what's the point of investing all this time and stuff when you won't really see the benefits for so long? It just seems so dreadful. You know, the idea of sitting and doing nothing is actually the easiest thing to do in the world. But we (laughs) make it so hard because we're in this environment where we're constantly stimulated And everything is pulling us away from ourselves and actually doing the inner reflection, which meditation is. So when I um, when I started meditating the first time, like years ago, I started my spiritual journey. I said, you know what? I can commit to five minutes a day. I can sit and do five minutes. I can't do 30 minutes. That might be a bit much for me. But I sat down. I did five minutes laying in bed. After I woke up and um, it quickly became really apparent, the benefits. I mean, like it didn't take long to get to the benefits, you all. I had them within the first week of doing it. And I increased my time from five to 10 to 20 minutes. And so it was crazy. Like I, I really got obsessed with it and I could see the benefit, which we'll talk about in a second. But the other thing I realized is that... <clears throat> Meditation is not just a, um, it's not just sitting in silence, emptying out your mind and like sitting in a yogi position. Like there's many different ways to meditate. We'll also talk about that in a second, but it's, you can do it in many different ways. So if there's a way that's unappealing, you can start off doing something that's a little bit easier. Like for me, I would visualize, um, an apple, And I would also do a rose and I would see it in front of me. I would see all the petals. I would see the color. I would see the thorns, the leaves. I would feel the rose. I would smell it. I would feel the apple. Like I put my tongue in it in my mind. I would smell the apple. I would bite into it. I would feel how crisp it was. And those are great things to sort of distract your mind. um, Because when your mind has a focus, it frees up Um, your soul and other things to come through. So I started doing the meditations and I saw a quick result, like benefit. And it really helped my spiritual journey, like the initial growth phase. So I noticed when I meditated, um, sometimes I'd have phenomena that would happen during the meditation or shortly after. And then what it really did was it freed up um, so it helped me distinguish between my mind, which is this machine, or your brain is the machine in your head that processes the mind. Some people say your mind is outside of you. But I could distinguish between my mind and my spirit. So as I moved throughout the day, I would notice I would get these ideas and it was my spirit talking to me, not my mind. And it would be like an inclination to do something. So I would do it. And then after I did it, there would be some sort of results. Um, there would be something to verify that it's what I was being called to do. So it was really, really enlightening, crazy, bizarre. That's when I like just, that was the initial phase of my um, spiritual journey. 
So I gained a lot from that experience. And over time, I sort of fell away from meditation because I had other spiritual practices, which I engaged in. And I was getting the downloads and um, communicating with spirit so easily that I didn't necessarily need it. But um, lately, I've been feeling compelled to meditate again and to have that sort of interaction because there's a clarity that comes from meditation. Um, And it does get you in tune. It keeps you really in tune with your spirit. <clears throat> like on a different level. So I started doing it again recently. And also because some of the people who I watch on YouTube and some of the people that like I look to for spiritual advice, they recommend, you know, one of them being Kyle, Kyle Cease, K-Y-L-E, C-E-A-S-E. I've talked about him plenty of times here. He highly recommends meditation um, to give you that balanced perspective in life. And so I've been reincorporating the meditation and... It um now here's when you get into a distinction like meditation, true meditation, while although there are all kinds of various like contemplative practices, true meditation, excuse me, true meditation is just sitting in silence and letting your mind just calm down. So I've been doing that and, you know, I started off 5, 10, 20. I think the most I did was 30 back in the day. But Kyle really emphasizes spending like an hour doing meditation. And so I've been doing that. It's funny because normally I wouldn't be inclined to do that. But lately, because of different spiritual gifts I want to unlock or just develop, I've been really inclined to meditate. So I've been practicing that, not every day, but um, as much as possible and It's funny when you first start meditating or I can speak from my own experience, like I would sit and kind of like try to control my thoughts, my mind, because I wanted it to be silent and still. So I would get frustrated because I was trying to get my mind to just focus and like calm down and not think of anything really. And what I've learned this go around is actually what you should do is just let your mind wander Don't try to stop it. Don't try to control it. The things that come up do come up for a reason and may not be for your, like, related to your highest goal, but they're there and, like, allow the things to come up. You don't have to engage the thought. You can just let it be. But it should be, like, the least work possible. Some people say you can um, do one of the exercises, like I mentioned before, which is a visualization thing, which is not true meditation, like, The true stuff that's going to help you process emotional issues and things like that needs to be in silence. But um, you can do different techniques when you're starting out learning to meditate. But ultimately, you want to get to a point where you just let your thoughts come up and then you just don't follow them. I've heard some people say, like, imagine cars passing on a highway. Like, you see them come, they're in front of you, and then they go. But you never, like, interact with them or try to, like, stop them or anything like that so that's how you want your thoughts to be and um i have done meditative things since that initial time i started meditating like one thing i've really been getting into is um meditating with the crystal ball open eye and that definitely has amazing properties and helps you focus and do wonderful things so getting back to this real simple traditional way of meditating is like um it's different um You can meditate for different reasons, you know, focus. Like you have the creative visualizations that I was talking about. Or you have other practices that you can do, but like shamanic journeying and other things. But this form of meditation is going to be the best for just your spiritual awareness, for clarity, for processing any emotional issues that come up, which is a really like therapeutic and good thing for you to do, like to allow emotions to come up. And then identify them and then be able to reject them later on or push them out. So, y'all, I've been doing it a few days now. And been going the whole hour. And sometimes I feel like I'm asleep, although I'm never really asleep. It's probably like more like cat napping. But um, in the middle of the meditation. But, y'all, the craziest things will come up. Um, and it's not hard at all. Like when you really just give yourself to the process, surrender, y'all know that's a big word. Surrender to the process. 
you know, we spend so much time, me especially, like, I listen to YouTube videos, listen to music nonstop. I always have earbuds in my ear. I don't watch TV. I don't um, watch the news. I don't engage in any of that external programming. I do my own programming, so I select the videos and things I want to watch. I am on social media every now and then. So I always have stimuli around me. But if you take a moment, just like an hour, you all, which sounds like so much, but it's really not once you get to it because you start to see the benefit, devote an hour. And if you can't do an hour, start 30 minutes, whatever amount of time you want. But just sit, close your eyes, and just be. You can hear the noises that are going around you. That's totally fine. If you have a thought that comes up, that's fine too. Let it come up, let it go away, let it come up, let it go away. And as I mentioned before, you know, you may not notice a benefit in the meditation, which you will. I mean, you'll experience different things and it'll be like, wow, okay, that was cool. But more importantly, you are cleansing yourself spiritually. You're creating a space for yourself. And you are going to get more in tune with your spirit. So throughout the day, you're going to start to have those revelations, which I mentioned that happened the last time, but even stronger. And I love that word revelations, y'all, because my one of my realizations today was that meditation is a revelatory process. It allows the space, it opens up the space for things to emerge it takes you out of your, what you know, it takes you out of your mind and takes you into the void because you all, what you know is all based on the past and experiences and it's for certain purposes and things. But when you go out of your mind and what you know into just being, you're just there for the experience. Like, you're just there for the experience you're there to, um, without any type of bias or any type of history or anything, you're just in the moment experiencing life and all that there is. So different things will be revealed to you. That's why I said revelations. It's a revelatory process. And, you know, for all my tarot people, when you are doing tarot and you're looking at the fool card, the fool jumps off of the cliff into the void. And, y'all, when you go into meditation, that is like going into the void. It's like, there's no agenda, there's no history, there's no past, there's nothing. It's just you experiencing the universe, the divine, your divine self, God, and like whatever surfaces, surfaces, it brings stuff out from like deep within you and it teaches you lessons. So by you creating that space in your life every day, it's going to really just enhance your experience. Um, yeah, in life, it's going to make you much more alert, more aware, more attuned, um, and it's going to also help remove like resistance, which is a really good thing. You know, when you can just be without expectation, you can remove judgment, which is a big thing that we all suffer from. Like we all suffer from our judgment of other people, which is really our judgment of ourselves. So when you can sit in a space without that and just experience life, it is transformative, you all. So if you already do a meditation practice, congratulations, you know, keep it up. If you haven't started one, y'all, consider different ways that you can access it. And then ultimately, you want to get to this point where you can just sit in silence, just be for an hour and just let the feelings emerge. Explore your mind, explore your spirit, explore your um, subconscious and all the different parts. Learn you. Know thyself. That is the maxim. It is the mantra. Meditation is a great tool for that. So that's it, you all. Please let me know your um, experiences below in the comments about meditation. Y'all, it prepares you for like many other things like psychic abilities, um, just a ton of other spiritual gifts, you all. So um, let me know about your experiences with meditation below. I know quite a few of you do have a meditation practice. Um, and then I did post um, tarot readings for all the zodiac signs this week on this channel. Check out yours and please like share and subscribe all of my videos so that I can continue doing this for you all. Have a wonderful week and uh, I can't wait to hear about your practices. Bye.